today we will see how to control this uh, I have one uh, water tank it's like a water tank and then there is another water tank top of this now this is a high level switch it's a low level switch uh, this water pump is taking a water from this tank and this throwing on top of this tank in top tank and this is a flow switch and uh, the purpose is now the pump will take water from this tank and will pump on top tank but as the water goes lower than the this uh, low level switch it will stop the pump and then uh, open this uh, solenoid valve all the water will come back again in this tank and it will do the continuously this uh, loop it's like a loop it will continuous will pump the water on top and drain again in this tank now let's see how we can do this there is a, a circuit I wanted to show you ok now it's a three phase motor life 1, life 2, life 3 and this is neutral all words are coming in there it's like a mm, it's like a, a circuit breaker or a fuse disconnector then all words comes down to a this is a contactor and is connected to the motor and then the control side now I do have this two positional switch so like a auto and a manual now by default it is on a manual position this is a normal open contact this is a start button and then this is a stop stop switch so start switch and this is a coil for this contactor Okay. Now the the life life three is coming to this switch. From this switch going to a start switch, then stop switch, and the one side of this coil is connected there with the life with the positive. And A2, this uh, neutral side is connected to the neutral. Okay, and then. Uh, I will show you now so that is a manual now if I switch on the main uh, uh, circuit breaker then the power is waiting for the, this contactor to come on and by default that is on a manual manual mode I just press this start button and this motor is staying stored now this motor is running now how this motor is running because this is a auxiliary contact this auxiliary contact is uh, connected to a this is a low level low level switch and that is a high level switch then it's going to uh, there this is a flow switch like I shows you this is the flow switch high, high level switch low level switch so high level switch low level switch flow and there is another uh, solenoid this solenoid is uh, controlling to the when it's on um, auto mode I stop the motor now I want to put on a auto mode so just wait to so if I connect if I switch to a auto mode you can see now power is going through to a so low level switch now the water is lower 
it's the low level switch and water is low so now the pump is running pump is pumping water on the top top tank so there we can see now this on flow switch is okay there is a flow and then this solenoid you can see there a2 is connected to a2 is a neutral side and uh, this is a positive side that is connected through there and is coming from this uh, that auto switch and manual switch is coming from there and then it's going to through uh, this uh, so this relay has a uh, this uh, point actually what i'm doing this wire is connected to a before this stop switch as the power can go through there now its power is going up to here now for example there is enough water now for example now is putting the water on top and this low level switch i mean the water comes lower than this switch then what will happen it will stop the pump you can see when this low level switch will activate it will cut off the power and now the water this solenoid is uh, solenoid is open and now it start draining the water likewise i said it will just pump the water on top and uh, when when this thing gets lower it will stop the pump and it will open the solenoid now the water is coming down again now water is coming down again as the water reach on a as the water will touch with the oil element switch it will run the pump again and then it will switch off the solenoid so this is a circuit it's running all the time i wanted to show you and when this is in auto mode you see you cannot even stop the motor if you try to stop the motor it will again comes on and why do i have this flow switch for example if there is no water in the tank and you run the pump it will as it will activate the switch and there is no water it will stop the pump to protect this motor if there is a flow it will be activated i mean it should be a normal open when there is a flow it must be a then it should run the motor